Hey guys, today I've got a knife to show you. It's a K Bar BK14. It's a Becker design. Seven inches long, three and a quarter inch long blade. And what I really like about this knife is its durability. So it's about 170 thou thick. It's a pretty thick knife. What's nice about that is if you have to chop wood, or you got to cut a branch, or we full wheel a lot, and we got anything and everything you can do with this knife. So I often will take it and put it down and beat it with a hammer or beat it with a log. If we got to break something, somebody gets something tied up in their axle, I can shove it down in there and beat it with another log to break it loose. It's really durable. It comes just as a blank and you can actually buy handles for it they make black and they make orange handles but I wanted to do the paracord look and when I first started it I thought man I see all those ones that people do and wrap online and they look really cool and I thought I don't know if I can do that that looks like a lot of work I don't know if I can do that so um, I bought some paracord I said I'd give it a shot and actually it was surprisingly easy to come up with a design um, just by, I sat on the couch and wrapped it a bunch of different times, so I got this way, it's nice and tight, it stays on there. But if that's not for you, you can also just buy the handles, and they just bolt on. So it comes with this plastic sheath, and you can also wrap this sheath in paracord about a million different ways. I do, because if I break a shoelace or something when I'm hiking, paracord's always great for that. I mean, you can always think about the zombie apocalypse, too, it'd be nice to have paracord and save the world, but for me, it's... If I break a shoelace or I need to tie something, I've got it. So um, it doesn't come with this clip. The clip is sold separately. It's a stainless steel clip. Um, it's a belt clip, and it bolts on. And so I can show you. Do it that way. Or you can do it this way. I usually don't carry it on my waist. I usually clip it to a bag clip it inside of a bag. The sheath has pretty good, it, it, it takes a little bit of force. It's, it's got a pretty good snap to it to hold the knife so you don't have to worry about it falling out. I mean, I wouldn't hang it like this all the time when you're hiking, but if you have it um, most ways other than down, I, I can't foresee it ever coming out. It's got a pretty nice tight fit. So what else is nice about this sheath is if you don't put the clip on it, You've got holes here and here, and you can take a bag, like this is my hiking bag. I could take this, and if I didn't have the clip, I could use those holes and wrap the paracord to actually hold it there and loop around this so it doesn't slide up or down, and then it would stay on my bag every time. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I might actually do that, but that's kind of nice when you're hiking. You can have it right there on your shoulder all the time. Sometimes I'll actually clip it. I gotta remember how I do it. I don't remember, but I usually clip it through here. Oh, no, it's on the side. I usually clip it right here. Shove it like that. That thing will hang out there all day long. It's right there if I need it. But lots of different options. I'll put links in the description, but I highly recommend it. I've beat the hell out of it for a few years, and as you can see, it's all scratched up. I just sharpened it last night and put a new tip on it because I used it as a screwdriver or something like that, worst case scenario, um, and it's, it's back to as good as new. But high quality knife, definitely recommend it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit, give me a like or subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take me home somewhere that I know for too long.